Hey guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today I am doing something from the requested from the community. We wanted uh, somebody wanted to make a block that could basically detect redstone, uh, or give a pulse emit redstone when um, there's a block next to it. So we're going to be creating something like that. We're going to set our texture for the block, and then we can set our properties. We don't necessarily need to set the properties, but um, we can basically tweak these if we want to. And these are optional. You can put it whatever you want, uh, wherever you want. And under advanced properties, this is where you're going to need to enable both of these checkboxes. And uh, then there is the bottom one where it says fixed. Uh, we're going to make a procedure return a value based on a, um, a setting. So in this case, we want to create a value that is going to test for the block above and we're going to return 15 from that I forgot to add uh, the value return blocks but it's just regular number return blocks with a number attached to it and then what you would do is you would return the last value as 0 for false so it will turn off uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm going ahead and I'm just setting up the uh, position now if you have multiple sides that you want to test for you can basically go ahead and do this for each side using and statements um, the other alternative is you can also use tags it might be a little bit easier to for cross mod support that way we're going to select our block and moving on to nearest neighbor uh, we need this in our triggers we're going to basically replace the block uh, with the same type of block and then we're also going to remove it before that uh, this will update the redstone uh, so it will basically automatically update so you might need to check that box right at the side there as well all right moving on um, in game uh, what we have is we have just a basic uh, system so if we place down our redstone block our power block then what we can do is we can just make sure that the redstone is off and it is and then we can basically place a diamond block on top and it should emit uh, redstone power so like that it's done so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out